You guys have loved us following Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmare Restaurants. Maybe now you'll love us following a Gordon Ramsay cookbook. Uh -huh. The recipes in here seem insane, but we'll see how good they actually are. And with any cooking video, let's throw it down with some drinks. So, guys, let's go. Mm, that's nice tequila. Mm. Shout that's out to Rowan. Bottle. Shout out to Hope of the Valley. We hosted their charity event, they hooked us up with some tequila. So now we're gonna get drunk and cook. So let's get started. Let's do it. We have the beef meatball sandwich with melting mozzarella and tomato salsa. First thing we're gonna need is some ingredients. And here are our ingredients. Ground beef, garlic, onions, mozzarella, tomato, cilantro, red chili peppers, red onions, pepper, salt, breadcrumbs, and milk. And we got some olive oil and some vinegar that we're gonna add in there. First off, we gotta prep the ingredients before we even start to cook. According to Gordon Ramsay, that's what it says in the book. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is grab our onion, peel it, and finally, that's not an onion. Okay, this, this might be bad. I think pour us up some more drinks, and I'll get started on chopping the onion. Thank you, good sir. We got the blade. I saw Gordon Ramsay cut his stuff in half. What are you doing, chopping? You should peel off the layer. Oh my god, you think you know so much, huh? I used to be a cook. What were you cooking? Dog shit? Good man, you're losing the whole onion here. All you care about is that there's onion in the mail. Oh. Careful with you. Tuck your hands, tuck your fingers. He did this first. <laughs> we're gonna be here all day. Boys and girls. Like if I need like this. Ah! Almost cut my finger off. Is that blood? No. Oh. Please. You can also do that too. Yeah. Exhibit A, here is our chopped onions. Now let's start peeling and slicing the garlic. Alright, so I just got the two cloves out. And now I'm supposed to peel them. So the next thing we're gonna do is add some olive oil to our pan. Then we're gonna add in our onions and our garlic. While we wait for that pan to heat up, we might as well take a little bit more of our tequila down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what they say about tequila? Oh, I got onion in mine. Enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say about tequila? What do they say? Put hair on your chest. I came here as a shaved little baby, and now I got hair on my I chest. Ain't, that's not a chest, that's a stomach. You just a hairy bastard. The pan is heated. Let's add our olives. <laughs> our olives. <laughs> let's add our onions and garlic. Mind you, we're just like two dumb bros. Now let's transfer our garlic and our onions over to the heat. That Boy, I hot. like that sound. Woo! Woo! Season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper. According to Gordon Ramsay, we let them saute for five minutes, and in two minutes, we're gonna add some chili flakes. We love this brown color. You want it to get soft and turn brown, according to the book. It's, like, going, it's going quick. It's going really quick. <laughs> this is turning brown like the tequila I'm drinking right now. Resposado, right? Reposado? Casa Azul. Is that what it is? Casa Azul. No, but what's the, 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 the tequila? The dark tequila it's called. Reposado? Reposado mezcal. Something like that. La After two minutes of your onions and your garlic sauteing and turning brown, we're going to add in one teaspoon of chili flakes. Mix this all together for the remaining three minutes. Can I add some tequila? You cannot add any tequila. You're drunk. Just film. Okay. I just want to say if it's a little shaky, my bad. And I just want to say, pick up the merch, BrendanTaylor.com. You may have missed the Cyber Monday sales, but don't miss out on getting it just in time for the holidays. BrendanTaylor.com. So now it's time to prepare our meat. Let's put our meat in a large bowl, and we're going to season it up with salt and pepper. Freshly grounded pepper and some freshly grounded Himalayan sea salt. Why is it so salty? Why is it so peppery? We now we need another bowl yeah. where we put in breadcrumbs and we moisten with milk. I don't know how to moisten breadcrumbs. This is the first time. Gordon, why you gotta make things so complicated? And I hate the word moisten. The one thing that I do not like about cookbooks is like how much? How much breadcrumbs? It's how much meat? Two third cup of fresh breadcrumbs. What did it tell us about meat? How much meat? One pound of meat. Was that one pound? I don't know. That could have been six. That's not six pounds. Oh, 
I hope that, that camera can see that. Yeah. And now we need three to four tablespoons of milk. And now we need to stir this together. You already have the salt and pepper there, and that's the one. You did that. All right, that's fine. It only needs to be moist. It's because it's still gonna mix in there. We gotta mix the meat. Should we see how much that weight that is? I have a layer. Read the package. Two pounds. Shit. Okay, so let's just cut it in half. So we accidentally put two pounds. We could double up everything. No. We don't need to do all that. God damn, there's a whole tree falling up. So now let's start mixing up our meat and we're gonna add in our breadcrumbs very shortly. This kid just doesn't understand the concept of an a, a recipe. It said mix, not chop. There you go. Sorry, big deal. There you go. Big deal. Big Gordon, deal. come sue me. That's why I moved to the book and not the videos, okay? So you couldn't sue me. Cheers <laughs> to that. Cheers to that, thinking outside the box. For the oh. price of that bottle, I don't know if it's good. All right, so, so according to the book, it says place the beef into a large bowl and season with salt and pepper. Put breadcrumbs in a separate bowl and moisten with milk. Season with salt and pepper, then stir the breadcrumbs and onion mixture into the beef. So I think we need to put some salt and pepper into that. And then what does it say? Then we add this into that. And we're gonna mix that up. Season with salt and pepper, then stir breadcrumbs and onion mixtures into the beef and combine well. With wet hands, shape the beef mixtures into large bowls and transfer to a lightly greased plate or baking sheet. Go wet your hands, kid, while I pour this in. I'ma wet these things. How are you gonna do that? With the water! Oh yeah. So stir all that, and then I'm gonna form them with wet hands. We don't cook them first. <laughs> we're gonna cook them, that's what we're gonna do while they're balls. We gotta form them into balls first, man. This guy's drunk. You gotta grease his pimmit. I got wet hands, I'm gonna start forming the meatballs. I'd give it a little hand mixture just to, to get in there, you know? Mix it all together. Damn, that does look good. I didn't know oh. this is what went into making meatballs, and honestly, there's a lot of work that goes into it. I will, I will say that, like, making meatballs is a healthy snack. You think so, but the breadcrumbs. Whoa, 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 that's How a big? big ass meatball. Look at that meatball. That's a big meatball. Should we go big meatball? Yo, we should say we want to make a cheeseburger out of it. Oh. Okay, but no, 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 no. Read the directions. It says like a quarter inch of I the know. size. That's two feet. This, this thing, it also says that it feeds four. There's only two of us. Yeah, so let's but just make bigger meatballs and have delicious or sandwiches. No, because it's not going to cook properly. How not? Because it's going to take longer to get the what is it? What, what does it say? Use a circumference of three when forming the meatballs and make sure that you use no more pressure than three cubic square pounds per corner. It says one and a half inch. Where's the measuring tape? Where the hell is the measuring tape? I don't have measuring tape. Well, it says one and a half inches. Okay, so like, and I'm only one inch. So wait, maybe <laughs> that's only gets the same size. It's like one and a half. <laughs> All right, it was a little big. Let's pull a little off. Just a tad. We have just enough, that's enough. I think those are perfectly sized. Now we're gonna let our meatballs sit for 30 minutes so that they can harden and stay in their shape and then we'll cook them. Here we go. Second glass, filled up. such high quality, it always comes back to It always to goes back size. to shape. Look at this. Good. Showing off the red, back to normal. BrandonTaylor.com, the highest quality merch that you can find on the interwebs. In the meantime that we're waiting for our balls to harden, let's start preparing the salsa that Gordon Ramsay is so famous for. We don't have sugar, man. We gotta have sugar. We'll use this. The behind the scenes process goes like this. Brennan texted me a list of ingredients. I go and buy it. 
The ingredients he doesn't text me is the ingredients he already has. I thought I had sugar! What are we making, a goddamn funnel cake? Why would sugar be in the goddamn chip chip thing? Uh, oh! Because <laughs> that's where it was, damn it! We got sugar. Thank you, Gordon. Shout out to him. Dice. It says finely chopped, but in the photo they're diced. They're so dice we'll, di we'll dice them up. Let's skip a tomato. Because that's a lot of tomatoes, guys. And I, I only like my tomatoes when they have sugar involved. I kind of want to bite the tomato. Why? Just to be a fool and spit it out after? No, I would eat it. Okay, eat the whole tomato. Look guys, Jake's gonna eat a whole tomato. Go, chew it. Don't spit a, sing don't spit a single thing out of that. Come on, all over the chopped tomatoes that I just cut? You see the shit that I, you see why I'm just, drink after drink? Put the knife down. Just Bigger one. drink after drink with this guy. Yo, that tomato was really good. Put that knife down. Put that fucking knife down. Can I finish chopping my tomatoes now? Mmm, that was so good. If I wake up with, <laughs> with E. coli, it's because of you. I love you get E. coli from a tomato. Yeah, it's from the plants. E. coli from the plants. They're the in plant eggs. Disease. They're in eggs that are like raw. No, they're from plants. Because I was listening to comedy and George Lopez said that he got churro from Taco Bell. Churro. When your butt goes churro. <laughs> <laughs> so the tomatoes are done. Well, this is a full right? Excuse eat. me, sir. Can I do something? <laughs> Go stand over there. All right, next, what we have to do is we have to slice this onion in half, peel it, and then slice it more. You want to be able to see the grooves. All right, now show the viewers how I showed you how to peel the skin off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to waste three and a half layers. Okay. I'm going to rip this off. Look at it. Perfect. Wow. And now we're going to slice this. God, my eyes are watering. I ain't a sentimental being, but God damn it, I might cry right now. You sound like that president that's like, I do not commit those crimes, I do not cheat on that woman. <laughs> Who we talking about? What's that president's name, smart man? John F. Kennedy, my name's oh, John F. Kennedy. Oh, Bill Clinton, God damn it, you don't know shit about American history, God damn it. My God. name is Bill Clinton, and I do not cheat on those women. No, he didn't say that, he says, my name is Bill Clinton, and I did not have sexual relations with those women. <laughs> Here we go. We're, we're chopped. We're, my eyes are burning, but we're ready. All right, so next, this is where it gets a little complicated. We need one, I think it's one tablespoon of cilantro. I don't know how you're going to measure cilantro. Yeah, yeah. so we're, we're just going to kind of eyeball that and just like peel off a bitch. And, I mean a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, something that Gordon Ramsay has never taught you is you're not supposed to use, oh my god, my eyes are crying. You're not supposed to use ah. a knife to cut your cilantro. What are you Why? supposed to use? Scissors. You're, you're supposed to prawn it. You're supposed oh, to I, do use have, I do have scissors right here. You're supposed to use scissors because when you chop it, you're getting all the juices out of it. So you use, use scissors to chop it. Did Gordon it. tell you this personally? No, no, I said Gordon didn't, will never teach you okay, this. Okay, well, here we go. Did you know that people think Wait, wait, can we get some ASMR, goddamn? He's not talking. Sorry, man. I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just, I'm just coming out there with the. You know the facts that come on the Snapple can? That's me today. Goddamn! Can we? Can, I'm, I'm trying to listen to the cuts. So the onions are done. Let's add it into our concoction. When's your cleaning lady come? Next week. Oh damn. <laughs> this is going to be a lot. Um, Next, we're going to need one tablespoon of cilantro. So I'm just going to put some in there, pour it in, and just take the next scoop. Put that get in there? Pour it in. That's good enough. One teaspoon of white vinegar. And the most finest pinch of sugar. Sugar bait. So our salsa is done, and dang God, it looks good. That is like the most purest form of pico de gallo almost that I have ever seen. It just made it busy in the limon. It looks good. So now, our, we've been letting our meatballs sit for 30 minutes and God damn it, they've relaxed enough. They look nice. Let's start preparing our meatballs. Put a little oil in the frying pan and cook the meatballs over medium low heat with a dash of oil for about 10 minutes until colored on the outside and cooked all the way through. Set aside for rest. First thing we want to do is put a dash of olive oil on there. That's not a dash. That's a little bit more of a dash. That's a slurp. Okay, I'm thirsty for some more tequila, so that's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Move it around on the pan. 
Let it get hot. Do you hear that noise? Yeah, it's called sizzles. No, it sounds like that, that song by Brennan Taylor. Which one? My anxiety, get the best of me. <laughs> <laughs> go stream my music if you haven't already. First link down below. All right, let's add these meatballs. Here we go. Cover and let them cook. Do you know what time it is? What time? Time to strip! Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is a family channel. It's time uh, to drink. I thought it was my orange one. Cheers. Mmm. I was just throw up. I'm just gonna say it. If we bite into it and it's pink, let's just pretend like it's cooked. So Brent, Brennan has a fancy smancy oven and it has something called a broil. I don't know what that is, but we're broiling that thing up right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bread Slice it in half. Once it preheats, we're gonna toast the bread and we're gonna continue to make our sandwich. Would you look at this bread? Reduced for only 50 cents. It's about to expire today. You know us working only on the best deals that we possibly can, so. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is cut this bread in half. So if we were in Subway, I would say this is about two six inch subs right here. We're gonna cut them down the middle, start the broil, and get these things toasted up. All right, time to broil our bread, or toast them. Bread's coming in. Bread's coming in hot. This is, this video is wrapping up real fast. Oh my God. Yeah. Cut the broil. So our bread is ready and god dang it, it cooked quick. Our meatballs are ready as well as you can see, they look intense. They look exactly the way they do in the cookbook. So let's start putting them on the bread and let's get this prepared. Removed from boiler, I set meatballs on half of the sliced rolls, pressing them down into bread. Spoon over any cooking juices. We got no juices on this thing. We bought the lean meat. Look at those sandwiches, guys. These sandwiches are no joke. All right, so over here, got the mozzarella cheese. We're gonna cut it in half, or in a couple pieces, and we're gonna lay it on top of our meatball subs. The thing about the cheese, the more the merrier, but guess what? I'm like those and don't! Pick up the merch, brandtaylor.com. So we're not gonna go too crazy on the cheese, because if we do, we will be crapping our brains out for the rest of the night. But as you can see, Jake gives no dams, and he is stacking the cheese. Oh, oh, okay, but your other pieces you're gonna cut small. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Either way, Jake is filling our sandwiches with cheese right now, and we're about to throw them back on the broil to get melted. Here's our sandwiches. Now let's throw them back on the broil so all this cheese can melt. Goddamn burnt bread. <laughs> okay, so our, our oven was on high. The, the cheese is melted, the bread got a little toasty, but listen, that is not gonna deter us because we are gonna grow so hard right now. So the last thing we need to add on before we can enjoy is our freshly made salsa. So let's spoon some of that on top. Look at that, that looks amazing. Put the caps of the bread on. Oh, like the bottom of the bread. I know. This one's on top. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That looks insane right there. So now let's try these things. So here it is. Following Gordon Ramsay's cookbook, we have the beef meatball sandwich with melting mozzarella and tomato salsa. And all I can say is, dang, it looks good. So let's see how this thing tastes. It's finally that point in the video where we taste this sandwich. So Jake, bring your drunk ass on here and let's hey. taste this thing, all right? I'm biting the side right here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's incredible. Holy crap. There's a lot of bread action going on. Amen. But because we made these giant meatballs, it almost like, it balances itself out. Yeah. But there is a lot of bread going on. There's like a five to 10% over bread. Mm -hmm. This is what we're working with here. We're going to a normal grocery store. We're not going to an artesian bakery or anything like that. So we're working with what we got, but what we got is an amazing sandwich. Like this thing tastes amazing. Compared to Gordon Ramsay, he's probably getting everything fresh. He's probably mm -hmm. making the bread fresh, exact, like all that stuff. 
This is amazing. This is so good. Oh my god. This is better than some restaurants we've been to. One of the biggest pulling factors too with that's so amazing is just like that crunch. And then you just get into a mouthful of meatball. Wow. I think what's intriguing me for another bite, and a bite, and a bite, is the salsa. Mm. It's so random to a meatball sandwich, but it's, it fits so good. You're used to a meatball sandwich with marinara sauce. Uh -huh. It's like literally dripping in marinara. This, but this was, oh my God, so It's good. pretty plain and pretty nice. It's such a good sandwich that could be wrapped up in foil and you could take it on your dish. Oh day. my God. And the mozzarella, really, honestly, the biggest thing that the mozzarella does is hold everything together. Because without the mozzarella, we would have a, bur a, I mean, a sandwich that was just falling apart. The mozzarella keeps it all together and still adds a good amount of flavor to it. Jay's going, I see straight salsa on there. Let me add a little bit extra. I'm Mexicano, I like that little flavor. We're trying it too. Mmm. That's a good sandwich right there. I don't care who you are. I don't understand the purpose mm. of the breadcrumbs. Cause I don't taste anything. Mm -mm. I think they hold the meat together. Mmm. Gordon Ramsay, you genius. Mm -hmm. This might be the best meal I've had on here. <laughs> There's no excuse for a man or a woman to say, I can't cook. Buy a cookbook, follow what it says, and goddamn it, we are chefs because this is so good. So Jake's adding up what this costed for the ingredients, how much? So mind you, without the normal things, olive oil, salt and pepper that most kitchens have, it was $28. $28 and we just feed, fed ourselves. And, and we still- and it's such for four. For Which, four. We have extra meat. We didn't have to put this much meat in here. We have extra on our pan that we can make an extra sandwich with. Whole mozzarella. Whole mozzarella. Like you could really skim this down, make smaller meatballs, and have sa and like have food for like literally a week. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see us follow the Gordon Ramsay cookbook some more. Smash a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you guys like this video and you wanna see more. If you wanna get this book and maybe cook for yourself, the link for them will be down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Woo! My past is in front of me. I can't run no more, I'm scared. They say that love is cheap and that's why.